In his latest live stream, Angin Terzi gave his opinion on who would win in a tournament and super match format out of John Brzezink, Levan Saginashvili and Devon Larratt if all three of them were in their prime. And he also answered the critiques, allegations of him trying to leak Levan Saginashvili's training footage to Devon Larratt. So let's start with some other topics first. I would say that until 2022, arm wrestlers were making great comebacks from their injuries. They were tearing their biceps, breaking their bones and returning stronger than ever before within 5-6 months. But that has not been the case in 2023 and 2024. Big Zaur Pezulaev is still trying to get to his peak shape which he achieved earlier last year. The numbers in the gym are just not there yet. Zaur was able to do 163 kilos bench press for about 8 reps. If we compare it to what he was doing before, earlier he did 200 kilos for 8 reps. So that's a massive difference, a massive drop. Then he did this back pressure lift with 87 kilos. 97 kilo lift was a failure. Zaur thought that he should have tried it with about 92 kilos and he may have got it. But prior to the injury, he was doing about 100 kilos on this one as well. Finger containment back pressure lat drag with 80 kilos on a 60 millimeter handle. That's the first time we are seeing him do that. So clearly he is nowhere near his peak shape yet. And it has already been almost a year I guess since his bicep surgery. So I hope he is somehow able to figure out the recovery well and somehow able to return to peak shape and give guys like Vitaly Lalitin good matches like he used to do in the past. Speaking of recoveries. Same thing happened to Artyom Morozov as well. He recently posted a physique update, I think we can call it that. And to be honest, he was not looking any more leaner or any more shredded than what he used to look when he was almost 135 kilos. I asked Morozov how much is he weighing right now and the answer was 126 kilos. So he is also clearly nowhere near his peak shape. Maybe he gained more experience and got equally strong. And with age 2, he's improving. So that's why he can kind of overcome that problem. But physically, he's clearly not the same. I saw Ryan Bowen sharing a photo of Instagram where Mark Wahlberg shared someone's story that mentioned Arm God's super match between RVJ and James Wall. And please excuse me for my lack of awareness here, but I don't know who Mark Wahlberg is. But apparently, he has almost 30 million subscribers. I would say that this has to be the biggest shout out that any arm wrestling super match has gotten from a huge celebrity. Earlier we talked about Chael Sennon and now Mark Wahlberg. Celebrities are thinking about arm wrestling. Cool things coming our way for sure. Matt Mask vs Wilton Brock. Chan Shaw has announced another super match. This is going to be an amazing event. Now let's talk about the highlights from Engin Terzi's live stream. Engin said that he's planning to send someone to Canada so that he can film an interview with Devon because he himself cannot get a visa in time. Well, I don't see the point here because if Engin wouldn't be present there, then he can just send Devon his questions and Devon can probably ask someone to set up a good camera and a good microphone and I think the interview is done. It wouldn't make any difference if Engin sent someone from his crew or maybe I missed something. Please mention in the comments what am I missing here. So Engin talked about Auden Lerit versus Akimbo. He said that even though Auden is about 20 kilos heavier, still it can be a good match. Also, we are about to see an interview with Gennady Kwekwenia soon on Engin's channel. This one will be amazing. Engin didn't even give us teasers or maybe he gave us some teasers by saying that it was a special interview and Gennady Kwekwenia is more motivated to make a comeback than he has ever seen him before. And I think it makes sense for him because he has defeated Devon and since then Devon has defeated almost everyone except Levan and he is the probably the favorite to win this world title match. So Gennady has to think that he also must have a shot to claim that world number one probably for the first time in his entire career. That's how, that's why he's so motivated. Engin once again emphasized on the fact that he truly believes that Levan is not the best that he has been in the past compared to that shape. He's only about 90 to 95 percent of what he was when he faced, let's say, Devon for the first time or Dave Chafee at PL compared to that shape. 
the Georgian arm wrestling team, or at least some people from that team, believe that Levan is the strongest that he has ever been, but Engin doesn't think so. Still, in Engin's mind, despite all of that, Levan is the favorite about 55 to 45 percent, or 53 to 47 percent. And then the question about John Brzezink. Someone asked who would win between Prime John and Prime Evgeny Prunik, and Engin simply laughed at this question, and he was trying to imply that. Prudnik doesn't stand a chance against John Brzezink. He said that in super match format, John would be number three behind Levan Seganashvili and Devon Larratt. And in a tournament format, John would be ahead of Devon Larratt only behind Levan Seganashvili. So he's the second best guy in the world all times in a tournament format according to Engin. In the same weight, he would just look at everyone and beat them comfortably. Engin also doesn't trust the way Levan is trying to build his cardio. Levan said that he's been working out for four to five hours every single day, and that contributes to enough cardio that he needs for this match. Engin disagrees, but Levan will be doing some, yes, you're going to hear it right, some walking in the last three weeks, and that is going to be all the cardio that he does for this match. And finally, the question. People were saying that Engin went to Tbilisi, Georgia, just to film Levan Saganashvili and tell Devon the secrets or the weaknesses of Levan's training so that Devon can capitalize on that and win the super match. Now that's a huge allegation on a promoter who is doing his best traveling to a different country just to provide us some content just to hype up the match even more. And as expected, he got kind of mad. He said that he hasn't even talked with Devon over message or phone since he visited Georgia and he takes this comment as a big disrespect towards him. And I think he has every right to do so. But I'll add one thing here. There are many things that we and Devon got to know about Levan's weaknesses since Engin traveled there. And these are the things that Devon wouldn't have known otherwise. Levan was doing his best to hide these things. Like, for example, the recent practice pull between Irakli and Levan. The Georgian arm wrestling channel cut out a part between their practice pull, but Engin showed that in full. So clearly, I think that Engin also cannot deny that after hearing the percentage of Engin's prediction shift more towards Devon, although Levan is still the favorite, but he was about 70% favorite and now he's only 53. That must have helped Devon with his mind games at least psychologically. So there is maybe 10% truth to that, but that can be totally unintentional. So these were the highlights from this video. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe. Every day as the match approaches, I become more massive and powerful. What about you, Levon, lifting your pathetic little weights that nobody's impressed by anymore? Why don't you show some strength, huh?